Hi, my name is Tusney Kinnett, and this is my SportsMed 3 project on strength and conditioning, focusing on mountain biking. Overview. This is my overview for my project. First, I researched what muscles are used in mountain biking, while focusing on how to improve my client's strength and endurance. Then, I'll be grabbing a baseline test on my client's favorite mountain biking trail. After that, I'll be creating a program to help improve my client's speed to overall help his stamina and endurance. Finally, I will compare my client's baseline test to his final mountain biking ride on the same trail to grab an accurate result. Benefits of mountain biking. The benefits of mountain biking is improving sleep, increasing muscle strength, as well as release, releasing stress and anxiety through natural endorphins, and also by improving your balance and coordination. Muscles used for mountain biking. The main muscles used in mountain biking are your hamstrings, glutes, quads, calf muscles, and core, which are the muscles I'll be targeting in my program for my client. My client. My client is my dad. His name is Richard Kinnett, and he's a 42-year-old. <laughs> the sports that he participates in are skiing in the winter and mountain biking and swimming in the summer. Our goal for this program is to help improve his endurance and strength so he can bike for faster and longer periods of time, while also being able to gain new personal records for his favorite biking trails. For my baseline test, my dad biked the Tahoe Mountain Trail. He completed his ride in 50 minutes and 39 seconds with only having to stop twice. The overall distance for his ride was 5.38 miles, with his average speed being 6.4 minutes per mile. Sadly, he wasn't able to complete the whole ride due to the daylight savings, so he was only able to reach the saddle when the whole ride is actually 6.21 miles. Due to this, I'll be comparing his times for the uphill portions of his ride, which he completed in 23 minutes and 24 seconds. Program Part 1. We start off my program with a warm-up, including high knees, leg kicks, lateral leg swings, side lunges, quad pulls, calf stretches, and figure fours that you can see in the videos below. These exercises warm up my client's legs for the strength and endurance part of my program. This is the strength part of my program. It consists of focusing on my client's legs and core, which are the main muscle groups that mountain bikers use. It consists of quads, calf raises, walking lunges, jumping lunges, step ups, planks, and mountain climbers, which we did for 10 reps of three sets. This is my endurance part. For my endurance part of my program, I did intervals with my dad. We trained on the biking trail Mule Deer, which was a great trail to run the intervals on becoming on. <laughs> we trained this because coming around the corner is a hard uphill with a hard pedal, and then the trail evened out for an easier pedal. This is very similar to the intervals I created with one minute pedaling all out as hard as you can go then followed by going for two minutes at half effort. After that, you can rest, which, can, which means slow pedaling on the flats. For my second interval, I focused on his heart rate, trying to keep his heart rate between 140 and 160 beats per minute, for five minutes going up a large hill, then followed by recover, recovering for five minutes, trying to bring his heart rate back down. These sets of intervals will help him train for longer periods of time, going for distance, um, going for more distance, and both of these intervals I repeated four times. For my final test, my dad bikes my dad biked Tahoe Mountain again, completing it in an hour and seven minutes. However, this might not look like improvement, but this did improve because he was able to complete the whole trail, which is six miles mile 6.21 miles with his average speed becoming 5.5 minutes per mile and for the uphill portion of his trail he completed it in 22 minutes the rest of my program 
The result of my program was that my dad became faster by reducing his average speed from 6.4 to 5.5 minutes per minute. Also, comparing his times for the uphill part of his ride, he shaved off a minute and 24 seconds. In conclusion, my client said he was happy with my program. He was able to improve his strength, endurance, and speed using my program, which overall helped him become faster throughout different trails he biked, as well as keeping up with all his friends when biking together. If he continues with my program, he'll be able to um, create new personal records for himself. Thank you so much for listening.